So, I thought I'd do a little care video on Phil Dragons. These are my two. There's my male right there, and then my female is right there. She's about, I think, seven or eight years old. Can't really tell. He's a lot younger. I actually just got him like a month and a half ago. Um, this is my cage. It's 48 by 48, and it's 24 inches deep. Um, it's probably the bare minimum, um, for two frilled dragons that you'd want to have. Up top I have a misting system, and that's actually right here. I just have the, um, Exoterra Monsoon misting system. Works real good. I have two nozzles up there. I have an extra nozzle I might add, but for lighting, um, there's a 150 watt basking bulb right there and then this is a UVB bulb um, it's the uh, zoom at I believe 150 watt, 160 watt um, so they get their UVB and uh, for food they like eating anything really um, hornworms, waxworms, crickets, roaches, pinky mice um, sometimes I let the hornworms hatch and Pupate into uh, moths on they love those. They go crazy for them. For substrate, I have, um, it's just peat moss. I actually just like peat moss. It's real nice. A lot of times if you use the bark or stuff like that, you're cleaning out the cage, you're digging through the bottom, and you'll get just tons of splinters in your hand. So I switched to peat moss, cause, and plus it's a good substrate for them to lay eggs. Um, one thing you want to really consider with frilled dragons, um, is all this cork bark. They love it. They love to climb. That's their thing. Um, they like spending most of their time up clinging to branches. Um, so that's why I have so much in here. I actually just bought some more, so I might add that maybe later on today. Maybe finish up the whole wall on the left side. They just love to climb. That's their main thing. And they want to feel secure. For temperature wise, um, you probably want the low side down here to probably be about, oh I don't know, 82, 82 degrees, something like that. And then up top here, it's more like uh, probably 98 or 100. Uh, usually you want higher temperatures, but I recently moved and my house is a little cooler. And they're very social animals. Um, if you get to, if you have them for a while, you'll notice the different signals that they send to each other. Like right now, she's submitting to him. That's one of their most little. It's a little bob of the head in a circular motion. And then they also do a hand wave where she brings her hand out like this and does this little circular motion. That's a submissive thing. Babies do that a lot when they hatch. Um, see, there's the head bulb. And now she's scratching her head. That's the head bulb, and there's his. That's a dominant mating call right there. Starts off with a twitch with his uh, tail, and then he stomps one hand. She responds. And if she's receptive, she'll go down to the bottom, and then he'll follow her. She just laid eggs, I don't know, two, on August 24th, so like, I don't know, a week and a half ago. Um, Humidity-wise, I just turn on the monsoon every once in a while. They don't have to have a lot of humidity. Um, I get the substrate pretty moist. Um, that's about it. Not bad. For supplements, they need calcium and but multivitamins. And she might be receptive. We'll see here. Yep. Yep. You might see something there. 
She's really fat right now, too. She's really fat. <laughs> There she goes, doing the head bob. He keeps looking at me. Give them a little bit more space. Nope. Dang it. That's pretty much what males do all the time. They're always doing that. And she just laid eggs. That's where she laid her eggs. Somehow she crawled all the way down. Can't really see because the window. She crawled all the way down to the bottom and she was actually in here laying her eggs. So. Just the most important thing is that they have a lot of stuff to climb on, places to hide. Um, that's about it. They like staying vertical, probably. That's probably their favorite position, just being vertical. I actually just ordered a Zoomed LED UVB. I'm going to put this across the top. Um, I'm still going to keep the heat lamps, but uh, it's going to be probably move those heat lamps back a little bit and then it'll be just across the top all the way across it's a 36 inch and this is 48 inches across so I'll have uh, six inches on each side I think that'll look really cool it's supposed to arrive today might do a video on that too once I get it all set all right thanks for watching